Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate an Estufa Finca gasifier stove. Okay, these are really elegant and very, very simple pieces of technology that can take a broad range of biomass waste and turn it into clean heat and biochar. In other words, fixed carbon as a byproduct. So first I'm going to show you how these work. And then we'll go from there. And we want not firewood, not lumber or anything. We want tree waste or organic waste from crops. So these broken branches that we gathered up off the ground, a little bit of construction waste and everything here are perfect. We're going to build our fuel pile in here so that the primary air entering in the bottom can still filter up and ignite the little tinder fire that we're going to build on top of this pile. These are top lit stoves, top lit updraft gasifiers. So put it on a relatively flat piece of ground because we want to control that primary air and then start with our bigger pieces on the bottom and build our fuel pile. What's great about a lot of the tree wood that we're using right now is that this comes from shade trees in the coffee grove here. This is typically a, or traditionally a kind of wood that nobody would use as cooking wood because it's extremely soft. It burns up fairly quickly and is actually very, very smoky to use. It works great in the stoves. We don't fill this. You'll see holes here on the top rim of our combustion chamber, which is conveniently made out of a five gallon metal paint can. And we don't fill up past those lines because that's where our secondary air is gonna come in. We've located them low so that we force people to leave a mixing chamber above the biomass load. This is where the volatiles that are gonna come off the wood are gonna mix with the oxygen that's drawn in through the secondary air holes because of the temperature differential that our little tinder fire is going to create. One of the neat things about these stoves is you don't have to fill it all the way up to run it. We could put half of what I've just put in in here and we could still successfully operate it and get it to gasify. If it's under 20% moisture content and it's an organic material, i.e. it has volatiles in it, then it qualifies as an input material. Now we've got our fuel load in here and what we need to put in is some tinder. And it's important to do a relatively even tinder fire on the top of this so that we establish a paralysis zone that burns fairly evenly. So we're gonna use our smaller stuff on the top to achieve that. So we're going to light our tinder fire. Our tinder fire is going to accomplish several things for us. But primarily what we want the tinder fire to do is we want it to establish uh, a temperature differential. We want warm air up here that's going to suck in cold air from the outside. So as soon as we get that temperature differential established, we're going to, as soon as we get our tinder fire established and it's burning really good, we're going to put a concentrator lid on this. So that tinder fire, besides warming the air here, is also starting to drive volatiles off the material directly beneath it. What are volatiles? Well, we know them as smoke when they come out because that's condensing gas is all it is. Now what we want to do is we want to slow those volatiles down so they can mix with the oxygen that we're drawing in because of the temperature differential. By putting a lid on, we cause turbulence or mixing in there. Once those gases start to mix with that oxygen, they light. That's gasification. Once gasification starts, then we can reduce the amount of primary air. Then we've got a situation where we're burning up all the available oxygen on the top of the pile, and we've reduced the amount of oxygen available on the bottom of the pile. Our biomass is in an oxygen-reduced atmosphere. It can heat up without igniting. That's how we're making charcoal. The first figure I used in talking about emissions reductions on this was particulate matter. Particulate matter has many constituents, but one of the big constituents is black carbon. So if we reduce emissions from stoves, cook stoves, by 91%, that's 91% less black carbon that we set up in the atmosphere. 
we started the first uh, pilot project exactly uh, over a year ago. No. This is because, as I say, most people don't know that almost 40% of all the uh, w like uh, greenhouse emissions that are causing climate change the way it is uh, is coming from the from the use of wood as uh, for for food and for heating. Normally, this cooktop lid would have a couple of pieces of rebar that you can run through so that you can have your pot way up here, or you can drop a pot down in, and you've got a pot skirt that keeps the heat on it for longer. With a pot skirt like this or with the cooktops that we're using, you can boil five liters of water in about eight minutes. We're cutting close to 30 to 40 percent, depending on the dish, the food, off of cooking time right now in our controlled cooking experiments. And we're cutting, up, of course, the equivalent amount of fuel out of the equation. So we're getting fuel efficiency gains of up to 40, and in some cases a little over 40 percent. The planet that 50% of the planet is using wood still today for cooking and that there are more women dying out of this than any other disease together with children below 12 years old. That's crazy. I'm like many others a year and a half ago, I didn't have a clue that this was happening. That's because this is low-hanging fruit for climate change mitigation. You know, if you could reduce black carbon emissions, you have reduced one of the bigger drivers for glacial melt in the Himalayas, for instance. That's huge. When you think about the multiplier effect of three billion people getting their daily meals off an open fire, now you're right up there in terms of scale with other things that we think of as significant contributors to climate change. The changes that we cause in climate by changing land use down here change the climate for us at home. It's simple. It's simple, 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 but we're all in it together now. Thank you.